Hey, people! It's Crash Bandicoot back again, and I'm going to be picking up exactly where I left off in part one with the Great Gate. This is level three, and I haven't died yet. I'm going pretty good for me. So, it's just going to be another case of collecting a shitload of apples and trying to complete the stage completing the bonus stages as well and I'm probably gonna fail very very soon and you can see how bad I suck at games see I couldn't even get up these jumpy boxes very good oh I've got another Ugga one more and I get infinite Ugga goodness that's a bit annoying that block because I don't want it landing on my head Spin. These snappy things are pretty annoying as well. Oh, and 15 lives. Hell yeah. Let's go. So you've got to jump up and knock those. They reset after a while. In a future level, there's loads of them in a row. It's pretty annoying if you fall off. So we're at the first checkpoint of the level. Still going good, still not dying, and this is probably a record for me. Or well, you can jump on these turtles, and as you can see, I've got a super ooga booger, and I can just breeze through, running through everything, and not dying. Unless I fall down the hole. And there's another extra life. Oh, yeah! Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, yes, just made it in time. I'm gonna take it easy here. Don't want to get crushed by these spiky rock things. And this should be a bonus stage. Yes, it is. Will I screw up? TNT, never a good sign. Here we go. I've got all the boxes here. Oh, we're going to jump across. I think I've made it. Yes! And another save point with 6% complete now. So there's plenty, plenty more levels. I don't know how to get them keys or crystals. I guess you unlock them later. And you have to come back to the early stages. I cannot remember for the life of me what happens in this game. So we're back with these spiky things that are a bit annoying, and I hit the end level, and we're through! Three levels without dying now, and I've only been hit once, where I lost an Ugga Booga at the end of the last stage. I missed eight boxes though. I don't remember missing eight, but apparently I did. Let's run to boulders. This is a bit of an annoying level. I used to die quite often on this because I used to get trapped, but let's see how I do. So basically, I'm going to be running for my life any second now. This big boulder comes! No! Run, crash, run, 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 run. Oh, I've made it to the first uh, checkpoint, I think. Is there a checkpoint here? 20 lives! That's gone up pretty quick. Oh, no checkpoint yet, but another boulder's coming. Jump, jump. And this gets progressively harder, and I'm pretty sure there's many more stages. See, this bit used to get me a bit. I used to trip on one of these, and then you're screwed because you get run over. But now that won't happen. I have a checkpoint and I'm on my way to victory. This one's hard, you've got to like time your jumps perfectly. Still going. This is pretty hard because you've got to avoid the stupid fences. Just stick with the apples and you should be fine because it, the apples go round all the stupid fences. Oh I hit the end and I haven't died! I'm pretty sure we'll see more boulder action 
in a future level, but for now, I've come through and I've only missed one box. Going good. Damn. This is not a reflection of my gameplay, I've got to say that. My gameplay is worse than this. I, someone must have been playing for me. I've got Super Ooga Booga already. First bonus stage pass thing. Especially I'm going upstream now. That's, in fact, that's the name of the level, but... Already just charged through the first bit and I'm at the checkpoint. So I've got to time the jump to these leaves pretty well. Uh, not TNT. I'm gonna get the extra life, I don't care. Go, 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 go. This should be second bonus stage pass. Yep, one more. And the leaf is here. A lot of jumping from lily pads to leaves. Oh, and I've got another super ooga booga, and that makes things a lot easier. Another checkpoint. Oh, and it's a bonus stage. I haven't screwed up any bonus stages yet, so... I'm on a roll, really. Oh, another life! Oh my god! See, that is a reflection of my gameplay. That poor, just walk of a platform gameplay. I missed two extra lives and I missed a save point. That's bad. See, there's like these gems around the pool right at the end here. I don't get what they're for, but I'm guessing it's something you unlock later and they become boxes or something, or platforms. I have no clue. And we're, well, towards the end of the video now, and I'm just going to do this boss, and it's going to be the end for part two of Crash Bandicoot. Let's see if I can kill him without dying. He's a pretty easy boss, you just jump on his head three times and he's dead. Just don't just jump over his stick and avoid him when he hits you. And when he goes down to hit you, jump on the head like that. One more hit and it's over. Here we go, it should be over. I lost my Ugga Booga, but successful boss, so I think we're at the end of the video now. I'm not going to show you this one for now, but remember to comment and like and subscribe and tell me if you want more Crash Bandicoot because if you don't demand more Crash Bandicoot then I won't post more Crash Bandicoot. Don't forget there'll be more Minecraft, so stay tuned for Minecraft. I'm heavily playing Rift at the moment as well, so there'll probably be some Rift stuff thrown into the mix. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.